One other amazing thing about getting the Wizards Guild is, of course... Oh, you're fucking kidding. That might be a quest we're gonna go have to do because this shop was a humongous part of the plans for this account to get my onyxes. This was how I was gonna kill Krakens. So, as I said earlier, the goal now is to get myself 50 construction so I can get my house moved to Yenil and just make life so much easier from there. What I'm gonna do is go back to Piro Piro. Welcome to Nome, Series 2, Far From Nome, where I attempt to complete some idiotic challenges while only in my restricted areas. And also, this is the final stock of all my runes that I made at the Arania altar. So I got 2k chaoses, 1k deaths, 800 and something natures, 1000 astrals, 500 laws. You know, it wasn't a bad haul at all for the good runes, you know what I'm saying? These will sell for a decent amount. These are great, going to be great for XP. And this is just so useful because I, I struggle to get nature runes on this account. As You know, obviously I don't have the hand in the sand done yet. Oh, that's how you miss 85 hunter, folks. Go me. With these final eclectic implings opened, I will have enough construction experience banked to get level 50, which is my goal for moving my house to Yanil. And let me tell you what a fucking grind this was. I caught, I had to catch a lot more eclectic implings than I thought I was going to have to. Almost 4,000 total now, and I'll show you the loot here. That's the 3,000 odd jars that my rune light has managed to track. You can see there's a shitload of oak planks there, and a lot of gold bars, lots of alcohols and stuff as well. There's heaps of money in here as well. Four mil, but obviously it's mostly jars. If you look in the bank, you'll see I've got almost 2,000 gold bars banked now, which no idea what I'm going to do with them. But more importantly, I've got 1500 oak planks and a couple regular planks, which is enough to get me from level 22 to 50. I'm going to have a decent POH after this. Not only am I going to have 50 to move my house to Yenil, but I'll have my first portal chamber and a chapel and a bunch of other useful things. So hopefully I can blast through these planks really fast. But before I start doing my construction training, I'm actually going to elk all these alcohols that I got from my uh, impling grind. And it's worth a decent amount of money, obviously, if you do this and then take away the natures and all the bows that I got. I'm left with 700k raw profit just from doing that grind and I've got the money and I've got the planks that I need for the construction grind as well so pretty happy that I didn't use the sawmill even if it was a miserable grind. I hated catching those implings. I've had a big net positive. I'm actually I've been low on cash for a while. I spent about 500k getting my magic up to 68 so this cash injection that I'm going to get from these implings is massively helpful. And we walk away with a very nice 740k. I'm keeping the claws because they have a stupid spec, which is fun. And we smith on I'm Nomi for the first time ever. Post tutorial island, obviously. And just like that, we have level 50 construction done. Which means I can move my house to Yenil, I can use the sawmill, and I can build a portal chamber. That is a huge, huge upgrade. I am really stoked about this. I already bought my coins, so let's get to building this stuff that I want to build. Perfect. And here, we build our portal chamber. Build. Fuck yeah, let's go get the house moved to Yenil so I can uh, get there a bit easier. Right, we're back at the estate agent for the first time since March of 2019. And for and I'm only gonna be here one more time ever, so we're gonna relocate to Yanil. And while I'm here, I'm gonna redecorate to the Brimhaven Tropical Wood. There is no gnome themed wood, unfortunately, but I feel like this is the closest we'll get. And you know the the fancy stone, the Felador style, that's played out. That's cliche. Every rich motherfucker had that shit in 2006, 7, and 8. I like this look. I think this is a good look for Nome. So let's just step out of the portal into the beautiful, beautiful world of Yenil. Now, with that said, I need teak planks. And with that being the case, I have now unlocked access to the sawmill by getting myself 50 construction, which means I can make teak planks, I can make mahogany planks, and I can make oak planks. And this is why I don't regret getting a high wood cutting level on my fletching grind, because now with a mithril axe, I shouldn't have too bad a time gathering teak logs from these trees. But they seem to be proving me wrong right in front of my eyes. So let's see how fucking fast this is. Ah, oh, there we go. That's much better. Alright, we've got about 100 teak logs now, which is enough for everything I'm going to need to build. And to get to the sawmill, I'm going to have to need to unlock the balloon route to get to the sawmill. So I'm going to go do that now.
piece of piss, mate. And we've got the sawmill right here. And while I'm here and have an empty inventory, I'm going to buy as many of these as I can because these are going to be very helpful. And considering I've unlocked this NPC, I've unlocked this item. Hmm, that is eye-wateringly expensive. But it doesn't matter, these things are amazing. So let's build us three portal frames. Let's build us an altar. Beautiful. While I'm here, I'm going to Mount of Glory. I'm not allowed to use this, because it takes all it does is take me out of my areas. But you have to Mount a Glory in a house. I had a Spear Glory. And what else was I going to mount on this wall? I don't have a Silver Light. I don't have an Anti-Dragon Shield. I don't have a Dark Light. Of course I'm going to put a Glory on the bloody wall. We'll build ourselves a Teleport Focus. And now look what I can do. And now we have an Apatol Teleport in the, in the fucking house. I don't have to use bananas for teleporting ever again. This portal chamber is going to be huge. I got Yanil, I got the Watchtower, I got Merim, and right out here I have Yanil. Now we've got all these molds. Including the tiara mold, bracelet mold. So I can take a tiara mold. I sell the silver ore here real quick. Emphasis on real quick. Make ourselves a silver bar. And we will just make ourselves a handy dandy little Lord Tiara. Some nice XP there. Beautiful little Lord Tiara there. And now we can head off to the sawmill. So that's the pet list done. There's no pets on it, obviously. But I do plan to put the Kraken pet here one day. So I'm here in preparation with my pet list. Alright, so it is time for my first foray into the Yanil Agility Dungeon. Because I need white berries to get this Hand of the Sand quest done. And I don't have them in any area except here. And since I've unlocked Yanil, I've unlocked the good old Agility Dungeon, so we'll head across here. And we'll be killing these Chaos Druid Warriors for the 1 in 25 chance at the White Berries. Not a bad get these, these drop great herbs, and I've got the regular Chaos Druids just down there too, so this is a great dungeon for me. Finally got them. We were a bit dry, but it wasn't terrible, you know what I mean? 38 of them, I can deal with it. And we've got our White Berries, so let's get out of here with those. Right, that now we are prepared, let's go get the Hand in the Sand quest completed. I didn't think I'd be using my uh, Mounted Glory so soon, but it's actually mightily convenient for the purposes of getting this quest done. So for the first time, and one of the only times, let's use my Mount of Glory. Hand of the Sand, quest completed, which is great because now I can use the rune shop upstairs, which I so desperately needed and was the whole reason I put Yanil in my new areas, and I get 84 buckets of sand a day for free. And for an account that's trying to get 97 crafting, that's pretty major. So I'm actually really happy with that reward. So I'm going to go talk to Bert very shortly and get that set up, but in the meantime, I'm going to go up here and talk to this guy and just look at this glorious beautiful thing that I have just discovered. Not only every rune I need, I don't have to go to Apatol to buy laws anymore, I can buy natures, I can buy chaos, I can buy death, I can buy blood, I can also buy three different staffs that I did not have before. My first air staff, my first water staff, and my first earth staff on I'm Gnomely. So I can house teleport with two runes instead of three. I can cast all kinds of spells without spending runes now. 
it's just a fantastic, amazing upgrade to get this rune shop for me. So I'm very, very happy that I've got that unlocked. So let's go get our XP from Purdue because we're owed a decent amount actually for our completion of Monkey Madness 2. So I didn't think I'd be using this glory, but uh, two exceptions later, it's come in exceptionally handy. I think we're going to get a music track for this. Oh no, I must have already been here. Okay. Let's go see Purdue. I believe he's above the general store. All right. It seems you're missing out on some valuable experience. Would you like to take it? So we're at 22,555. Look at that, 40k agility, almost a level. 35k hunter, not nearly a level. 55k slayer, that's huge. And 35k thieving, that's also massive. Oh fuck yeah, I'm taking this XP. This is probably gonna get me 1500 total. Bang on. Bang on 1500 total. I got 1500 total wards now. That's sick, mate. 70 Slayer, which is actually annoying because I can get Gargoyle tasks now. No, Kuresk tasks, I mean to say. Those are not good, those are a skip task. But 70 Slayer is dope. 57 Thieving as well, that's massive for helping us get closer to the shortcut for the Agility Dungeon. And of course, we're like three laps away from 77 Agility as well, so. That was epic. I'm very happy with that. So this is the part of the video where I made a pretty questionable decision, which pretty much put me off making the video entirely. This Black Demon Slayer task really has me stuck because of how time consuming it is and how focused I have to be for it. I wanted an easier way to complete the task and since I have Yenil unlocked now, I thought to myself, wait a minute, if I can use the Nightmare Zone and repeat the Black Demon fight from Grand Tree over and over, I could potentially finish my task there much faster, and since I eventually want to imbue my Zenite ring there anyway, which I'll get at the end of the series obviously, it makes sense for me to go there. The problem was though that I only had 4 out of 5 available quests for Nightmare Zone finished, and I was going to need a 5th one to unlock it. So I decided I'd do the Fight Arena quest. It's close to my areas, it shares the Khazad storyline with Treedome Stronghold, and it gives an easy boss for the Nightmare Zone. I, s I simply just made an exception and went to do it, which I now don't think actually was the right choice. You see, I unlocked the Nightmare Zone, but when I went in there, I learned that not only are my gear and stats woefully inadequate to take out these hard mode bosses at any kind of speed, but I was getting Black Demon spawns so rarely and infrequently that it would have been faster and made me money going back to Demonic Gorillas anyway, considering that a dream was costing me something like 8k every time I went in there. On top of that, I was getting Dad from Troll Stronghold as one of my 5 bosses, and this is awful because I not only get constantly slapped around the arena by him, but I unknowingly locked myself into doing Troll Slayer tasks now, they're not a skip task anymore. And the same agonizingly slow problem applies here as well, because when I need Black Demons or Trolls, all I actually end up getting is 5 Hard Mode Jungle Demons with level 170 defense and 50 slash defense bonus which I can barely hit through even when overloaded. It's terrible. So what am I going to do? Well, it's not Nightmare Zone, but it's unlocked now. I can't undo the fact that I did Fight Arena, and I'll need Nightmare Zone years down the road when I plan on imbuing my Zenite Ring anyway, but for now, it really feels like I've ruined the authenticity of Gnomely after four years. It, it, it's, it's fucking, it really put me off, man. I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking. So what I'm going to do is pretend I never did Fight Arena for the immediate future, and if you guys are down to do that as well, we'll all be good. I needed to move on to a different goal, so... Here's that. So while I've got Slayer on the back burner and the sawmill freshly unlocked, I've decided to make 70 construction my next goal. The run restoration pool is something I seriously just need on Gnomely for any type of long term goal, especially crafting if I plan on running to the shipyard to get soda ash, so the revitalization pool is basically essential. I unlock it at 70 construction, and as I've been saving up stamina potions from the Jekyll and Hyde random event over the last few years, I'm only two away from the 10 required, and I already have the torstals for that banked from Nature Implings. Now I could simply get 65 construction and boost with my crystal saw and T to 70, and this was my original goal, but I've decided I want to just go straight for 70 itself because from there I can boost to 75, and now I have the construction level for the spirit tree, which as you can imagine is pretty much going to change the game for transportation on Gnomely. The only problem now is the 83 farming requirement. Now, I can boost from 80 with a garden pie from Gourmet Implings, which saves me just shy of 700,000 experience, but the main problem here is that I only have one tree patch and one fruit tree patch, 
And even then, I have to get the seeds usable to get me the almost 2 million XP I'll need. And the only way I can get tree seeds in any kind of quantity is from bird's nests, which I have a 1 in 256 drop rate every time I chop an oak log. I really do want 80 farming, but let's look at it this way. In the first 9,000 oak logs I chopped, I got 48 bird's nests, of which the notable seeds I got were 3 maple, 6 willow, 2 pineapple, and 5 curry. And those seeds I just described total up nicely to about 42k XP with another 16k or so on top of that with various low level seeds. That's nowhere near 2 million. At that rate, that's over 300,000 oak logs for 80 farming. So that's one crazy hell of a grind. But I'll always be working on it and eventually, hopefully, I'll get a spirit tree planted in my house. But for now, the shorter term goal, much shorter term goal, is 70 construction for the run energy pool. That's 10,400 oak planks that I'm going to need from my current level of 50 construction. I'm almost there in terms of logs. I've only got about 1,000 more logs to go, but the money to make them all into planks, that's 2.5 mil, which I do have saved up in you unstrung longbows in my bank from my 80 fletching grind. So I'll have to do a million world hops to sell all of those for the right price, and then do an arseload of trips to the sawmill in the balloon to get all the planks cut but once I've done that I'll be quickly grinding my way to 70 construction and getting that beautiful run energy pool as long as Jekyll and Hyde decides to show up two more times.